March 21st, 2008 from Daytona Beach, Florida. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Verizon and AT&T were the big winners in the FCC's 700 megahertz auction. Both companies are expected to use their newly won spectrum to provide next generation wireless internet services and possibly some form of mobile TV. Dish Network also grabbed a few, mostly one-way communication licenses, possibly for a new video service. The new spectrum will become available when analog television shuts down forever on February 17th, 2009. What does that mean to you? Well, it means that Big Telecom is still completely in control of your bandwidth. Sony will release a free update to the PS3 this month that adds the ability to download video, games, and ringtones. The update will also install Blu-ray's BD Live functionality and wireless communication with the PlayStation Portables. The PS3 will become the first Blu-ray player on the market with internet access, offering a wide variety of downloadable movie trailers, bonus material, and more. Meanwhile, Toshiba announced that its HD DVD flop will cost the company over $1.1 billion. Ouch! Online advertising is under attack in a new bill proposed by New York Assemblyman Richard Brodsky. The bill would make it illegal for companies to track information about Internet users for advertising purposes without their consent. It would also require the choice to opt out of targeted advertising based on web searches, browsing history, and other private data. Microsoft, AOL, and Yahoo are all sending lobbyists to Albany due to the growing support for this bill. Watch out, it's going to be a big fight. DirecTV launched a new satellite that will allow it to offer 150 national HD channels and local HD channels in over 100 markets. It's expected to begin service this September. DirecTV will launch another satellite in 2009, providing support for up to 200 national HD channels. Of course, earlier this week, Dish Network reported problems with its own satellite launch, which may hurt its performance in the growing battle for HD supremacy. Quadrant One added 26 newspaper companies, basically doubling the size of its ad network, which was started by Tribune, Gannett, The New York Times, and Hearst to offer one-stop shopping for national newspaper ad sales. And that's Media Bytes for March 21st, 2008. Visit ShellyPalmer.com for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bytes from Daytona Beach, Florida, I'm Shelly Palmer.